on Brasserie. We're here in the Brasserie restaurant. Looks like somebody's getting some ice. Yeah. <laughs> this sounds like it anyway. Yeah. Uh, Myers McDougal sommelier from the Brasserie as well, and uh, we have a little uh, Bordeaux here. Uh, yes, uh, uh, the 2003 Chateau Reynard Mondeseur. Mondeseur? Mondeseur. Mondeseur. S'il vous plaît. Oh, wonderful. From yeah. Fronsac. From Fronsac. Yes. Yeah, okay, so where's Fronsac? Or let everybody know where that is. Yeah, it's up on the up back in the hills a little bit. Um, it was uh, uh, a lesser known um, appellation in Bordeaux. It became seemingly less important. Mm -hmm. Although um, historically these wines were uh, given higher ratings than the wines from San Emilio or Pompadour. Um, but they kind of went into nowhere to build and now they're on their way back. Well, that's good to hear. I think a little bit more approachable price too, right? Yes, yeah. And uh, it, it's also nice uh, uh, because these generally come out at lower price points and uh, uh, they're more accessible now to a lot more people. Uh, this wine, as a matter of fact, is $17 and change on a case buy. Um, uh, you got only 1,500 cases. Wow, that's pretty small production. Yeah, very, very small. So it's uh, there's there's not a lot of it coming over. It's kind of one of those one-time deals that we get every once in a while, where a wine comes in, we get 20, 50, 80 cases of it, and it's gone, and you can't reorder it. Once it's gone, it's gone, and so you miss the boat if that's the case. Well, that's good. Well, um, and what's the blend on this? 85% uh, Merlot. Okay. And 15% Cabernet. So it's right up, right up the alley for what we usually see from that region. Yeah. 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 Nice, nice color, and it's, it's dark, and, and uh, you know, for a 2003, now this wine's, uh, you know, you call it six or seven years old, yep. and I'm not seeing any hint of orange or uh, uh, anything that tells me that it's a wine that's any more than two or three years old. It still has a very youthful appearance. Mm -hmm. It's very dark, very dense, and also you can see the legs on the glass are, are really holding on, they're clinging. And they're, they're colorful. Yeah, a little bit of staining, yeah. not a whole lot, but like you said, you don't see that garnet going out on the glass, even though it's got seven years on it. So yeah. And what's the nose? How do we, how do we have? Um, it comes off nicely. I can get it like two or three inches above the glass. Uh, rich fruit, uh, even nothing that really sticking out as far as oh, it's blackberry or it's blueberry or whatever. It's just it's just nice. Even wine, so, yeah, you know, it's very nice. <laughs> oh no, we better make sure wow. everyone's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Guess they're catching the poultry for the evening. <laughs> mm. I like the way that hits the palate. Uh, mm -hmm. It, uh, ooh, this is making my mouth water. My sides of my tongue are. Or, or activated by this. It's beautiful. It's a little bit of acidity and, and you get the tannins, you can feel that nice grip in your mouth. Yeah. But it's smoothing out. I think it, you well, know, yeah. the reeds come together really really nicely. I think yeah. you can probably keep this for a couple more years or it's ready to go. You can, yeah. I, I'd say you could probably drink it for, well, the world's supposed to end when? 2012? Oh, no. You could drink it before then. Okay. <laughs> like 2012. What's the, where are you pulling that number out? Oh, it's this thing that's going around. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, cheers. cheers.